are back. Pokemon Black this time around. Diving into Gen 5 here. Um, really liking it so far. Um, it's crazy how different all of the Pokemon are. There's no repeat Pokemon from the previous gens, which is crazy. Um, but a lot of variety. And this is the team we ended up with um, going into the first gym here. We went with the Tepig, the Firefighting. It's going to be really good. Uh, we got Pan Sage, Pat Rat, and Lily Pup. So just a team of four against their team of two. And now their gym leader depends on the starter you picked. So all of them will start with either with a normal type and then they will answer with a fire, water, or grass depending on what starter you chose. They're just going to have the opposite. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool interaction there. And since we went with Tepig, they're going to have the Water Monkey, which is Pan Poor, I believe. So I think everything is set, and we are ready to get this battle underway. First gym, Pokemon Black, Hardcore Nuzlocke. Here we go. Going against Cress. Cress with the Water type. So this should be a pretty easy, pretty straightforward gym battle, uh, barring any crits or silly business. But the second one, um, I have been swept before just doing a uh, just a casual Nuzlocke playthrough, and um, they can definitely cause some issues. So I'm very excited to uh, attempt that second gym coming here shortly. So right here, Tepig versus Lillipup. I think we're just going to lay down the Ember. We are slow, and we flinched. That is just wonderful. Not a great start, and Lillipup gets the work up. This is not going great. Hopefully we get a burn or something to help compensate, and we get the burn. So everything is okay. The flinch and the work up, we are looking so much better because the burn um, cuts Lillipup's attack in half. Now, with the work up buff, it's still going to be doing pretty decent here. Um... But as long as we don't flinch, I think we'll be just fine. That burn was so huge. Really good stuff there. Tepig bringing it. And here's the pan pour. And um, I'm, I'm not even going to mess around. I, I don't know how much a water gun will do. But if it somehow crits me for 28, I, I think the laptop's going to grow wings. So we're just going to do... Uh, a swap into Pan Sage, the counterpart there, and I think we'll be able to win in a 1v1. This should not do a lot of damage, only does three. No problem there. And our Vine Whip should do really well. So Pan Poor uses Work Up, gets that buff on both attack and special. So now that Water Gun's going to do a little bit more, but my goodness, Pan Sage with the crit on the Vine Whip. Cress is forced to use the potion, and that might do it. Might bring her really low. Okay. Panpour is hurting. Penelope is popping off here. Eats the water gun like it's nothing. Comes in with another vine whip, and right there we have secured the first gym badge. No issues there. The flinch, uh, flinching to work up was a little bit scary for the lily pup, but the burn compensated for everything. Really good stuff. Very excited to go get some some new Pokemon, run it into some new encounters here, new first encounters, and then see what we're working with for that second gym, which I believe is primarily normal type, which our Tepig is going to have a fantastic time with once it evolves and gets a, a fighting move. So really looking forward to that. I think it'll be a lot closer than this one. And as always, guys, I really appreciate your time. And I will see you real soon. Peace.